is not a fairy tale, come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily, Wily, Wily Sneak. Whoa! It's off to the tower! You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover! I am waiting for you, kiddies! Who will take the rest? Because only one will escape! And the rest... <laughs> Here it comes! Bob and Craft number 1200, 4,005 trillion and 64! Give or take a centipede. This is my final Bob and Craft. The voice has promised to let me go. It's been many moons coming. Oh, I better get packing. Mind you, just getting those unfortunates here isn't enough to get me released. I've got to trap them first. Oh! So, let's get trapping! Yeah, up they come, up to the tower. Just think, if this fragile rope was to break, it would be a disaster, because we'd have to buy a new rope. <laughs> this next bunch of unfortunates are from Bolton. There's Nathan, who's a Georgian dentist. Sophie, she sleeps upside down. Ben, who is half onion. Andy is unbelievable. Chris has a weakness for darts and Megan, who invented wallpaper. In they go! <laughs> this is my watch tank. This is where I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. For years, Bob and Craftful of Unfortunates have been coming to the tower. <laughs> Imprisoned at the top, they work to pass the challenges and escape each floor. For each challenge, a new saboteur is chosen. You are the saboteur. Only one will escape with the key of freedom. And the rest remain trapped. <laughs> floor six, Goblet of Ice. In this challenge, unfortunates must carry snow across the icy stepping stones and fill the goblet of ice. But it's not that easy. The stones are deadly slippery and there's a monstrous gale blowing. It's windier than a plate full of baked beans. What's more, if so much as a toe slips off them stepping stones, the goblet will tip up and empty out all the snow they've collected. So they'll have to start all over again. <laughs> Who is the one who can't be trusted? It's time to pick the saboteur! Megan, do not react. You are the saboteur. You are the only one who can hear my voice. It is your job to make sure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the goblet is not full at the end of 90 seconds. Don't. Panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, if Megan wants to escape, she has to make sure the team slip up. <laughs> Unfortunate. This is Goblet of Ice. To pass, the goblet must be full at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now! Remember, Megan, when you touch the ice, the goblet will tip. Wait for a while before you tip the goblet. Let it fill so you can get maximum benefit. Being a good saboteur is all about timing. You must make sure no one's watching. That's it, Megan. Make it look like you're part of the team. But you'll have to tip the goblet soon. Pick the best time. Brilliant! Nathan slipped. <laughs> He's accidentally tipped it. He'll look like the guilty one now. The goblet is almost full. Think about touching the ice. Oh no, Nathan slipped again! This is fantastic! You've been lucky so far. Your teammates are bound to suspect Nathan. But you must keep an eye on the goblet. It's not over yet! 30 seconds. That was Nathan again. He seems to be finding the ice tricky. Nathan again. This is great. He's slipping all over the place. But don't be distracted. You must concentrate on what you're doing. 
You're running out of time. The goblet is full again. Careful. Ten, Do you tip it? Nine, it's up to you. Eight, seven, this is tricky. Six, what are you going to do? Four, three, two, one. Your time is up. You have failed. Oh, nicely done. But has the saboteur been spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Chris, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Megan because she was always standing on the floor. Megan. I thought it was Nathan because he kept standing on the floor quite a lot. Nathan. I think it was Megan because we were just about to fill the goblet of ice and she stepped on the floor. Sophie. I think Nathan was the saboteur because he always kept standing on the floor a lot. Ben. I think it was Megan because she kept standing on the floor a lot. Andy. I think it was Nathan because I think I, I saw him put his foot down on the floor. You have voted for Nathan and Megan. You know what this means? Draw straws! Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Megan, you have drawn the short straw. Therefore, you are the unlucky one. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Megan. Megan, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. So, sabotage successful, but the draw straws have spoken. Megan, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel disappointed because um, I thought I could get a bit further. Poor, unfortunate Megan. You're trapped! <laughs> Megan may have thought she'd get further through the tower, but now she's frozen to the spot! Ha! Floor five! Fairy trials. For the little people, it's judgment day. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must place the fairy traps into the exterminator so they can get a real good look at them. If they decide it's a good fairy, they must release it. If they decide it's a bad fairy, they must blow it up. If they guess wrong three times, they will fail. It's time to pick the saboteur. Nathan, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by convincing the others to identify fairies incorrectly. You must release the bad fairies and blow up the good. All the bad fairies are not wearing gloves. You must release them. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Can Nathan make the team fail and get one floor closer to freedom? Unfortunate. This is Fairy Trials. To pass, you must correctly identify three fairies. Let the challenge begin now. Which one should we go for? Remember, Nathan, the bad fairies will be without gloves. That so we least one. Let the others speak first, though. You don't want them to suspect you. No gloves. It's a bad fairy. Convince them to release her. Yes, Andy saying good. She could be evil. Speak up. I, have the white I hair. think it looks good because she's got white hair. What do the others think? What do you think? Let's go for good. Should we go for good? good? Ready? Release it. Good, Nathan. Remember to look disappointed. <sighs> she was bad. I knew we should have gone for bad. Next time, wait and see what the others say. That, now we should one. remember looks at everything. And it goes. Right. Here comes the next fairy. 
Let's have a look at this one. This is a good fairy. Blow her up! Bad. Great. Bad. Even better. Bad, definitely. She's bad. <laughs> this is easy. Yes, she does look bad, don't she? Bad. Yes, yeah. I agree. Yes. I Should I we go for blow up? Yeah. yeah. Ready? You're getting rather good at this, Nathan. She's good. Right, this time we should look at the eyes. No, she should be looking for their gloves, but never mind. Think of a way to earn their trust. This is a good fairy. Oh, we've got to make a group decision this time. That's good, you can tell it's got a smile. What are you going to do? I think it looks good, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Should we go for good? That's a good idea. Okay. Going along with the team will throw them off the scent. Yes! Nice acting. Right, look, look at the smiles that then. That go one. for this one. Thank you. If we get this one right, it's one and two. We've got to get this one right. <laughs> Neighbor, you're so sneaky. Okay, next one. This is a bad fairy. Convince them she's good. Do you think it looks she good? She might be. She's smiling. She's, She's smiling, so <laughs> she does look good. 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 Let's go. Who wants to go but for We good? just had one like that with red hair. Are we all sure that it's good? Or should we go for bad? I think it good. might be bad. It doesn't matter about the looks, though, does it? Sophie said good. I agree with Sophie, me. I think what, bad. Be careful. Uh, yeah. Keep what going. Good. I think it looks good. Go on, Ready? <laughs> You've done it! Your time is up. You have failed. I think that all went rather well. Or did it? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Nathan, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Chris because he kept up, he wasn't making any decisions with us and he was really quiet and he's normally chatter. Sophie. I think the saboteur was Ben because he kept disagreeing with us. Ben. I think it was Chris because he just kept agreeing with everybody else's decisions. Andy. I think the saboteur was Chris because he, because he didn't say any answers to us and one time he, we all agreed for good and he went for bad. Chris. I think it was Ben because he was always smiling when we got it wrong. You have voted for? Chris. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Nathan. Chris, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, perfectly done. The saboteur ruined that challenge. Chris, how do you feel about being trapped? All right, because I can blow up more fairies. Poor unfortunate Chris. You're trapped! <laughs> Nathan was sneaky there. Not even one vote. Floor four. Two-faced liar. Meet Madame de Visage, the two-faced liar. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must listen to Madame's reflection make statements. They must decide if they are true or false. If they get three right, they will pass. But get three wrong, and they will fail. Madame looks like butter wouldn't melt. Now, which unfortunate will want the team to believe those lies? Andy, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure your team answer the questions incorrectly. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. If Andy succeeds, she could be lying her way to freedom! Unfortunate! This is Two-Faced Liar! To pass, you must guess correctly three times! Let the challenge begin! Now! Bonjour! Caramassalata! 
What is that stink? Is it you? Let us begin. Fireworks were invented in America. Do you think? Is it true or is it false? Andy, it's, it's false. Book. Convince them it's true. Is it true? I think it's true. Okay. False. true. I think it's false. I think it's true. False. Ben's the odd one out. Well, it's three out of one. Yeah. Three out of one. We're going for true. I heard it. Brilliant. You're going for true. No! It is false! Act disappointed. <gasps> ah, I told you. You've got it wrong, Gorgonzola! It was invented in China. Oh, who cares? Here is your next statement. In Tudor times, men would rub crushed beetles into their heads to cure baldness. <laughs> is it true or is it false? This is true. Persuade them it's false. I think it's Which? false because I remember doing Tudors at school. Yeah, but what do you want really agree with Ben? Yeah, what do you I want to go for then? It might be true. I, I think like false. Don't false. Don't let him go with Sophie. What do you think false. I agree with Ben. It's fa false. 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 You think it is false? Excellent, yeah. and it was Ben's decision. <laughs> no! Ben. It is true. Poor Ben. <laughs> if you get one more wrong, you will fail. Fingers crossed. The French flag is red, green, and blue. It's blue, white, and red. False. Oh no, they know this false. one. False. Let them have it. Let us see. We. Oui. It is false. Yes. Nice acting. Are you French? No. no. You are very clever for English. <laughs> a whale is a type of fish. Is it true or false? This is false. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Great. It is a fish because it's got a fish. Well done, Andy. It's it is true. true. Why is it true? Because the kid's got like a tail like, Just like a fish. Let us find out. They're going to fail. <laughs> no! It is false! What? A whale is a mammal. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. I think that all went rather well. All did it. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Ben, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Sophie because she was the first to agree with anybody and she was kind of quiet. Andy. I think it was Ben, because when we did the Tudor question, he made up like a book from school, and then we got the question wrong. Nathan. I think it was Ben, because he was like, please, because we got it wrong. Sophie. I think the saboteur was Ben, because he always kept disagreeing with us. You have voted for Ben. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Andy. Ben, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Sly and secretive, that unfortunate will be a tough one to beat. Ben, why do you think? The others voted for you. I'm normally pretty smart in school and I got the Tudor question wrong. Poor unfortunate Ben. You're trapped. <laughs> that Ben is going to have to face up to facts. He's trapped. Floor three. Forbidden chambers. In the Forbidden Chambers are crates of smelly jub-jubs that must be kept apart. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must stack the crates of the same colour in the matching coloured chamber. But they can only carry one colour at a time and can only enter another chamber if it is unoccupied. If less than two towers are stacked, when the time runs out, they will fail. 
There's only three, so who will it be? It's time to pick the saboteur. Andy, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by mixing up the colored crates, lying to your team, and making sure they do not stack two towers by the end of two minutes. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Andy will stop the team winning without kicking up a stink. Unfortunate. This is Forbidden Chambers. To pass, you must have at least two towers complete at the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! Andy, the trick with this game so is to I'm make your to team think you're working room. with them. But I'm going into the orange! I need to get into the purple room! Start mixing up the crates. The right, I've got an idea. So what? Somebody get out of the orange room! Good. But if you're too quiet, they'll think you're the saboteur. Keep talking. Sophie, where are you? Keep I'm in the orange room. Is anybody in the yellow room? You have to no, speak I'm up. I'm in the green. I need to get into the yellow. Great. Sophie can't move. Block her. Stay in the yellow. Is anybody in the yellow? I'm coming out of the purple now. Good. Andy, start moving again or they'll get suspicious. Hey, the purple's an occupy. Come on, Andy. I need to Sophie's left the orange room. So Get in there. In the no, wait. She's, no, she's come back. She's blocked you. You're letting them move around too easily. I can't do Nathan's trapping me. I'm not. The, the green room is empty. Go in and swap the crates. Open the door. Let me get to the yellow. Andy, speak up. I'm in the purple. Move into the green, Nathan. Andy, if Andy. you don't stop talking, they'll guess it's you. Think of something to say. I need to get to the Sophie. I'm filled up. I need to get to the green room. Oh, no. The orange crates are almost complete. And Sophie's piling up the green. You'd better think fast. Sophie, you mix oh, everything up. Time is running out. You need to mix up the crates. Everybody in the yellow. Orange is complete and Nathan has the final purple oh, one. I need to get to the purple. Do something. Nine, Stop Nathan completing eight, the tower. Seven, six, five, yes. four, three, Play the purple. Two, one. Your time is up. You have failed. They think it's all over. It is now. <laughs> you must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Andy, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Sophie because we nearly did it and then, like, Sophie kept trapping me in the room and she messed it all up. Nathan. I think the saboteur was Sophie because every time I went to a different room, she'd just been in it and the boxes had been all mixed up. Sophie. I think the saboteur was Andy because I was trapped in the orange room and Andy was in the yellow room and wouldn't let me through. You have voted for Sophie. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact Andy. <sighs> Sophie, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. What a crafty unfortunate! They made being sneaky and sly look so easy! Sophie, why do you think the others voted for you? I think the others voted for me because I was in a room that they both needed to get through. Poor unfortunate Sophie! You're trapped! <laughs> Phew! A tense game, but Andy did a good jub-jub of being a saboteur. <gasps> Floor two! One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! To win the key of freedom, unfortunates must answer questions on their time in the tower. It's simple. Win, and they'll escape. Lose, and they'll be trapped. <laughs> Oh!
I'm so excited I could wrestle a rhino. Unfortunate. This is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now! Nathan, which unfortunate didn't make it past floor six? Uh, Megan. Correct. Andy, who was the saboteur in Two-Faced Liar? Me. Correct. Nathan, name one room color in Forbidden Chambers. Um, purple. Correct. Andy, how many fairies did you blow up? Too slow, one. Nathan, what was the color of Madame de Visage's hair? White. Correct. Andy, name the first unfortunate to empty their snow into the goblet. Too slow, it was you. Nathan, what was the name of the challenge on floor three? Uh, Too uh, slow, forbidden, forbidden chambers. Andy, who was in charge of the lever on floor five? Nathan. Correct. Nathan, how many times did the goblet tip? Four. Incorrect. Five. Andy, what was Madame de Visage's fan made of? Feathers. Correct. Nathan, how many towers did you need to stack to pass floor three? Two. Correct. Andy. Nathan and Andy, your time is up. Nathan, you answered four questions correctly. Andy, you answered three questions correctly. Nathan, you are the winner. Congratulations. Andy, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel really bad because I thought I could make it through the tower and I made it to the last level. But I've not been paying attention to the game, so I'm a bit ashamed of myself. Poor, unfortunate Andy. You're trapped! Nathan, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. I'm free, finally! So, Nathan goes free, but another five unfortunates trapped. <laughs> that should be enough to see me out of here. Oh, where shall I go? Somewhere strange and exotic. Maybe Bristol? <laughs> One thing is for sure. You will not see me back here. Right. Here we go then. <gasps> Thank you.